We all know what we like in terms of design when we look at a room, but when it comes to mixing patterns, colors, and textures all on a budget, things can get a little tricky. Hey everybody, I'm Melissa Dawson for City Lights on Novus TV. If you have any burning home renovation questions or a room you just have no idea what to do with, I have a feeling I know how to help. Really, the Vancouver Home and Design Show is pretty much a one-stop shop for anybody who likes the world of design and uh, home renovations. So true, there's everything here. It doesn't matter if you have a small 300 square foot condo or if you're building a big house out in the valley, we have got it all here. It's flooring, windows, doors, art, paint, everything's here. And it's really a workout walking around in here. There's a lot to cover. <laughs> it's so true. I don't even know how many, I think we have like 17 aisles. Like there is everything here. I mean, there's a lot of lifestyle products too. So even if you're not renovating your house, there's a lot of fun stuff you can do here too. What would you say for the people who are coming in here and who really are a bit intimidated by the world of design? What would your tips be to them to help kind of help them ease them into this world? I think everything that we have at the show here is really accessible. The the furniture, the art, everything is very affordable here. Um, we also have a great booth that you can stop by and see. It's called Ask a Decorator. So you can actually bring your decorating design questions. If you have questions about what color should I paint my living room or how should I position my furniture, you can actually get tips here. I've heard a little birdie told me we have some local celebrities who are making an appearance here. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, I think from a local standpoint, we uh, Jillian Harris is probably our biggest local celebrity. I mean, Jillian, you know, she lives in Kelowna right now, but she's been in Vancouver for a lot of years. She is a fantastic person. She's she's um, been on the HGTV design stage. She's really easy to talk to. You can actually stop by and talk to her as well at the BC Hydro booth. So yeah, I'd say she's our biggest local celebrity. All right, so there are a million questions I want to ask you, but first of all, I have to point out I am in love with this living room you designed. Thank you. Yeah, it actually came together really well. You know, you're your own worst critic when you're doing something, and I was strapped for time, and, you know, I didn't know what we wanted to do, but I knew we wanted it to be comfortable and approachable, and we wanted it to fit with all the BC Hydro and Power Smart signage, and then we just kind of picked it, and then just all of a sudden just came together. Well, I have to say, I'm very comfortable. Thank you. So there's one thing, and it's very attractive in here. So what would you say is your main design thing? If you could describe your sense of design in three words. I would definitely say it's eclectic and it's lived in and it's well used and it's got personality. Um, I like things to be off centered and off kilter and, and rough and tumble and I want to be able to enjoy the space. I definitely am not a kind of person who has like a precious space where things need, everybody needs to be like, you know, I just want a space that's comfortable and approachable and has personality. Exactly, and I mean square footage is limited nowadays yeah. so you really have to take advantage of every last bit of space. Totally, and I think there's great ways that you could take advantage of space and have you know everything you know right now we were lucky we didn't have to integrate storage but you could use ottomans with storage you have uh, sofas that have storage you know I think there's just so many great ways to to integrate storage into your space. And speaking of smaller square footage you know if you have some homeowners or homeowners or apartment owners um, really who are looking to design on a budget what would you say are your top three tips for accomplishing a design like this? I think definitely using what you already have and figuring out a way to repurpose things sanding things down repainting them in my home, I'm pretty sure if I wanted to get a new um, TV entertainment unit, I could probably buy one. But I went to my parents' garage, I found a beautiful antique chest of drawers, and I brought it over and I put it under my TV. It cost me nothing. I kept that piece of furniture from going into the salvage yard. It's original, it's authentic. It like I, I use that. And so I think trying to find things that you know one man's trash is another person's treasure I think reusing and salvaging is great and if you this is your style it works great because you're always able to find things that you can kind of repurpose exactly yeah. making the old new again yeah, totally. and really the, I mean the quality that you used to be able to get was phenomenal yeah. so it really can last yeah absolutely yeah now if your room is in need of a lot more than paint and reupholstering just leave it to Brian all right, so we know tackling home rentals can be a, like a pretty massive job. So what would you say is the hardest thing you, that you've ever come across? Oh, wow. Uh, you know, I, I, we come across everything, and I, I've never really been stumped. I've never really gotten to a job and said, this is unfixable. I mean, everything. A is man who knows everything. Well, no, no. A, a man who maybe has a uh, little fear of the unknown. I mean, we just dive in. Any problem in a home can be fixed. It, the problem is, does the homeowner have the budget to fix it properly? Now, for that homeowner that is on a budget, what would you say are some of your top tips to really tackle those home renos? 
Uh, you know, top tips uh, I would tell people on a budget is look forward. Uh, you want to do things around your house that are going to save you some money every month. Uh, and by saving money, it means going green. You know, save some green. Use a little less energy, a little less uh, resources to heat your home. Uh, you know, swap out the windows. Do all that stuff first because that keeps paying you back. Are people able to do some of those projects on their own or would you always suggest having a contractor come in? No, people can definitely do things. If you want to, you know, save a little money around the house, uh, a few tubes of caulking, you can run around and around your windows, stop all the airflow coming in. Uh, you can put weather stripping on your doors, change your furnace filter. Uh, you can make sure your basement's insulated properly and that warms up the air so it's easier to warm up your house. But there's a lot of things homeowners can do. Just do a little research, just start small. You know, don't start huge. Start something small and just kind of build up to it until you're comfortable with it. If you don't have the time and you've got the money, then bring someone in. With home and design experts literally at every turn, the Vancouver Home and Design Show has come through in spades. Budget or big ticket, there's something for everybody, including me. I have my new couch. For City Lights on Novus TV, I'm Melissa Dawson.